I'm going to show you how to cook the chicken breast. Cook it till it's done, give it tons of flavor, and make sure that it's not dry inside. Let's do it. So I got three pieces of chicken here. Already have the fat cut off of it. They're just ready to go. I'm going with a real simple rub, some Uncle Steve's SP and G. You do what you like. Give them a good coat. And you don't want too much because you don't want to overpower them. Now, whatever rub or shake you use can overpower the taste. You really want to get to taste that chicken. After all, that's what we're here for, right? Is that chicken. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Let the rub and the chicken kind of become one. Then we're gonna throw it on the barbecue. I like to have my grill between 300 and 350 when it comes to cooking chicken. Especially when it's the direct method like this. I'm gonna put those chicken breasts right over the direct heat and let them cook. The direct heat sitting over it for four minutes. I think it's time to flip our chicken. That was a good looking chicken right there. A great grill marks. Same with that one. Same with that one. Wow, look at that. We're gonna get them another five minutes and we'll check that temp. Each one of these pieces of chicken is now sitting at about 165. That is perfect. We don't need it to go any higher, but it's okay if it does. Now here's the secret to moist chicken. First thing is tin foil, right? So we took this chicken, we brought it up to 165, so we're good there. If the chicken continues to raise in temperature while it's inside this tin foil, cooking in its own juices, then we're okay. And if the temperature tends to come down a little bit, we're still okay because we cooked these chickens for 165. Now, I'm gonna start wrapping these up. They are going to cook in their own chicken juice. Chicken juice. <laughs> they are definitely going to cook in their own juice. And that is also the key to keeping these moist. Now, how long you decide to cook these is up to you. But at 300 to 350 degrees, I'm probably going to go for another 15 minutes, maybe 20. And I am going to keep an eye on these because I don't want them to get too hot, just in case, for whatever reason, this tinfoil takes that temperature and just brings it up too hot. All right, we'll see you when these are done. It's been 15 minutes. This piece of chicken actually did come up a couple of degrees. It's coming in at about 173. I'm going to open it up, take a look at it. It is definitely cooking in its own juices. That's just so perfect. Exactly what we want. Even my grandson agrees. We're going to open this up. Take a look inside. Let me show you one other cool thing. What do I mean about cooking in its own juices? Yeah, they're for the top. My grandson likes it. Wow. Chicken breast is very juicy. Got lots of flavor. What can I say? It's cooked just about perfectly. That Uncle Steve's SPG was perfect on it. You go with whatever you want on it. That's how we did it. The key to it is bringing it up to 165 to begin with inside. It's not going to hurt it. Bring it up to 165 and kill everything, all the little bad bugs and stuff at that point. Wrapping it in tin foil, keeping it on a steady heat source. It doesn't matter if it's an oven or in a pan or whatever. As long as the heat source is steady between 3 and 350, you're going to be okay. Cook it for about 15 minutes. Make sure it cooks in those juices. There you have it. All right, we'll see you on the next episode. Show you one other cool thing. What do I mean about cooking in its own juices? Yeah. Yeah,